What's up, guys? It's your own Ninja Warrior Aviator Center Super Hub bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja Channel, and welcome to another tutorial. I just got to tell you guys, I am excited for this one because I have two swords now. I've been waiting for literally like six months for this sword to come in, and it's finally here, and I'm super excited. Which and it means that I can do double sword tutorials for you guys uh, now that I have it. So, um, if you've seen any double sword stuff on my Instagram or YouTube, or I guess on my TikTok, uh, tell me down here so I can do a tutorial for it if that's interested for interesting for you. But for this one, I'm going to be breaking the combination you saw at the beginning of this video down in four or three parts, so it's a little bit easier to understand and learn. And by the end, we'll put it all together, and you'll have the full combo that you can practice at home. I'm just gonna say right now, these are tricking swords, so uh, these aren't gonna chop me if, like, they're not sharp. Um, if you're practicing with a sharp sword, don't do that, that's super stupid. Practice with a uh, PVC pipe that you make to, to be in the shape of a sword, or get some tricking swords and I'll leave links down below, but regardless, definitely don't use a real sword. To set up for the first move, you first gotta learn how to do the set, like I did in the video this set right here and it's very very simple just takes a little bit for you to get get um in your head for you to get the the, the hang up so first you got to know how to set for this combo and it's really simple it's just this set right here it looks kind of complicated but it's really not all it is is you take your sword you roll point it forwards around and down and then back up the exact opposite way and then you're doing the same thing with this hand it's forwards around and down and back up the only difference is you do it in opposite directions just like that now once you have your set you're gonna step out with your left leg fold your left hand so handed sword underneath and slice two and three so it's gonna be a, a triple slice so again as your right hand comes palm up your right left hand's gonna come palm down at the same time as your right hand rotates the sword over to palm down just like this so it's gonna be one two and three rotating that sword over now once you clear your left-handed strike you're going to finish with opening up your chest just like this left sword up for combat right sword out striking through just like this for the second combination it's a little bit more complicated you're going to left hand just like before palm up for strike rotate it over right hand palm down you're going to do a 360 degree spin now this time your left hand's going to come around just like this your right hand's going to go around making a full circle and right hand strike down. So one more time, you just did your two strikes, you just did your spin, left hand around the head, right hand around the body, right hand around the head, left hand around the body, left hand into your armpit, right hand to your strike. So all together, from here, it'll look like one, two, three. And it's all a one fluid motion. It's not spin and then your, your rotation with your hands. It's you have to rotate your hands at the same time you're spinning, just like that. So one more time all the way through, you got your set, switching sides. You're going to one, two, three. One, two, spin, down three. All together at full speed, it looks something like this. Now, next time I'll be doing the double hand toss, teaching you guys how to do the next segment of this uh, combination. So make sure you hit the like and hit the bell so you don't miss when I post the next segment of this video tomorrow at 1 p.m. So if you're interested in continuing this combination, definitely check it out. If you need a sword or something to practice with, let me know, comment, ask questions. There are ways to make swords. Um, 
for fairly cheap that you can use to practice with to get stuff like this before you have to go out and buy full-on tricking swords like I have. But if you are ready to buy the full-out tricking swords, I'll have links down below if you're interested. So until next time, my name is DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.